Hello, in this video, I'll show how to track HubSpot form submissions in Google Analytics and Forms Able. I'll start with a simple setup uh, consistent of a simple HubSpot form and uh, it already has uh, Google Analytics, Google Global Site tag uh, embedded on the page, as well as Forms Able code that we'll use later. Because HubSpot uses so-called widget forms, uh, forms that are not part of the page but are loaded dynamically using a JavaScript from the HubSpot server and rendered by browser after the page, initial page has loaded. Uh, successfully tracking them requires uh, using so-called callback functions. HubSpot provides a few. The one we'll be using called on a form submit, and it is called when the HubSpot is about to send form data to the server. To do that, we'll need to modify uh, the code of the HubSpot form and add on form submit event handler. And it looks like following. It looks uh, like a function that takes form parameter and the form parameter would be a reference that uh, HubSpot sends to the callback function that refers to the form that is being submitted. track this form submission in Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager, the only thing is required is to um, call Google Global Site Tag API and send an event. So it looks like following gtag event generate lead. Now um, generate lead is an example. You don't have to use generate lead as an event name. However, Google Universal Analytics and especially Google Analytics 4 has special meaning for some of that event names. So when sending uh, events from the page, it's, uh, it is the best practice to use event names and event parameters specified in uh, Google Analytics uh, documentation. So after this is done, we could reload the page and confirm that to verify that Google Analytics tracked uh, the form submission event successfully. I'll open a uh, real-time tab events page on the under unders real-time tab in Google Analytics and it, it, it does display the form that's just been submitted. Event category is assigned automatically based on the using standard uh, standard event action name. One more thing that's useful is to send that event to Formsable in addition to Google Analytics. And uh, Formsable is a next generation customer data platform that makes it easier to send uh, form conversions to different marketing APIs such as Facebook conversions API, uh, Google Ads API and so forth. And it also uh, allows to track entire customer lifecycle. So it allows to attribute purchase events that happen later, regardless of where they happen, even if they happen in CRM or uh, might be subscription payments in, subs in, a, in a payment system, something like that. Uh, Forms able attributes any sales event uh, that happen later on to the original visitor and that original ad click that produced the, uh, the lead. So I also add uh, for Formsable tracking code to the page uh, to let Formsable know which customer, which customer email really is uh, associated with a current website visitor so that later on when a purchase happens, it would be able to sort of trace it back to the lead and through the lead to the Google Analytics uh, client ID, to Facebook click ID or uh, Google Ads click ID as well. To do that, this will be slightly more complicated. I'll extend the code that's been added here. So I'll do it by adding uh, Formsable tracking code that allows Formsable to associate the website visitor with a form lead that will be produced once the form is submitted. I'm adding here a call to the UIP function, which is provided by the uh, Formsable tracking code, and notify Formsable that the lead has been generated and pass the entered email parameter to the Formsable so that it can know what the email, what the customer email was. Uh, reload the page and test it again. Formsable 
Formzable successfully tracked this lead and associated the customer's email with the Google Analytics client ID, which can be used later on to attribute any of purchases that happen uh, that done made by this customer to the original session in Google, Google Analytics. And it also works with uh, most of the ad platforms such as Facebook ads and Google ads.